Faulkner getting a tour of the controversial storage facility that homeless San Diegans have been using to keep their belongings. Now, Tanya's reporter Mimi Alcala is joining us from Sherman Heights from the Storage Connect Center, where some neighbors say since this opened in June, they haven't felt safe. The facility here on 20th and Commercial is meant to give homeless San Diegans a place to store their belongings while they go out, look for housing, work, or go to appointments or school. But a lot of the people who live and work in this neighborhood say this location wasn't right. There are other places within this area that probably could have housed this a lot better. But when you bring it and put it right next to a school, I have a problem with that. We've had to hire a security company to come in and keep our school safe. Our families wanted that reassurance, knowing that this building was going in. Noel Bishop, principal at Our Lady School, says the increase of homeless San Diegans in the area has caused the school to shut down one playground and hire security guards. The 22,000 square foot center just a block away from the school is operated by mental health systems. Inside, there are about 500 storage bins for homeless clients. Mayor Faulkner says so far only half are in use. They're meant to help the homeless have a place to safely store their belongings, but they're also helping to reduce the clutter on the streets and improve the overall cleanliness of neighborhoods. Mental health systems and the city say they've addressed concerns about the facility with neighbors nearby and are doing what they can to make sure crime is down and neighbors are safe. They've upped the amount of police patrols, hired their own security, and used a 90-day referral period to select the clients that use the center. As you were seeing more stuff come off the streets into this facility, that's exactly what we wanted. And my commitment from the very beginning was not only was it going to, is it going to work, uh, but we're going to keep the surrounding neighborhood and neighborhoods, make them cleaner than they've ever been. The mayor says they do not plan on closing this facility anytime soon and hope to have all of the storage bins filled, but they will continue to work with neighbors in this area to address the issues and find solutions. Reporting in Sherman Heights, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.